What is up, YouTube? It is Coach Corey, and today we got another sneak peek video. That is right, sneak peek number two is here. So to start out, the first thing, I'm going to get right into it. The first thing we got is you're going to be able to have a name change available. So everyone is going to get the ability to make a one-time name change. So you can change your name, but once you change it, you can't change it again. So I'm personally really excited about this because obviously my channel name used to be Rob Stark, and now it's Coach Corey. But my in-game name is still Rob Stark, and I haven't been able to change it because there's no name change. So now I can finally have my in-game name be the same as my channel name. So I'm really excited about that. I don't know about you guys. Now, you do have to be careful because once you change your name, you can't change it again. So definitely think hard about it if you do want to change your name or not. Okay, and then second, we're getting a little quality of life upgrade. And that is you will be able to see who is online in your band. Now, a small thing, but it is sort of cool. Um, if you're trying to team up with people, it'll make it easier to tell who you want to team up with or who is online, who you can team up with. I know sometimes people are sort of just playing games by themselves. Maybe they don't even realize that there are other people that might want to play with them. So that's sort of cool. Just a small change. Okay, and then the third sneak peek, and this is sort of a tease. They really didn't give me much info, but there is going to be a new event type. And I'm sure you could have guessed that. But I think one thing that is cool, they sort of slid in something sneaky in the fan kit. And I'll link that in the description if you guys want to use it. It's great for any in content creator or YouTuber. They have a fan kit and they have images of each of the brawlers. And they changed the image for Crow. They changed the back of his jacket. And I'll put the image on the video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But the back of his jacket had, I'm pretty sure it was like a showdown on the back of it. And now that's no longer there. It's a new picture. And I'm pretty sure it's the picture of the new game mode. And usually the picture relates somewhat to the game mode. So what do you guys think the game mode is? It looks sort of like a bandit cat sort of thing, possibly. Um, I'm not really sure. It's sort of hard to tell, honestly. But maybe we'll you know, get some more information later. I don't know. What do you guys think this new game mode could be just based on the picture? All right, then lastly, those were all the sneak peeks. But there was an additional thing on the subreddit for Brawl Stars I wanted to bring up. The Brawl Stars official account responded to someone's question asking about if they were going to fix own goaling in Brawl Ball. And they said, yes, we're going to be working on that feature. So it will be in the next update. So they said they're going to be improving this for the next update. So it's a lot harder to own goal. That can definitely be really frustrating. Anytime the ball stops sort of on the goal line, it can be easy to just pick it up and it becomes an own goal, which is really frustrating. Obviously, you have control of the ball. You're not going to try and score that easily on yourself. So just another small quality of life upgrade. I know those weren't very big sneak peeks. I think they're trying to save some of the big sneak peeks for the Brawl Talk, which hopefully is coming soon. I'm sure we'll get more information on that soon as opposed to when that's coming out. Hopefully it's pretty soon. All right, guys, that was it for this sneak peek video. Let me know in the comments what you think this new event type is going to be. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you later.